That's a big box. No way. What is going on everyone? Derek here today bringing you guys another video. And as you can see, I am with this doofus head right here by the name of Jordan. Jordan names to be exact. If you didn't catch yesterday's video, click the link right up there, go watch it. You can see we got quite a few things laying around over here, including this desk, which we should be working on today and some other goodies and stuff. So that's the plan right now. But before I do that, I actually have to meet up with Romina and we have some, it's craziness going on right now. It's a bunch of craziness. We're not fully moved in yet and we have a lot to do. That's kind of the best way to sum it up. I know we have to run to the store to get some tools for household things and whatnot, and then from there we gotta go to the Miranda's, and after the Miranda's we gotta go back to my old house to drop off my father's truck. Thankfully, I've, I've had that thing, and it helps with the move, let me tell you. He forgot one important step What's to it? stop at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Check this out, look how fancy, ready? I need to see, well, I need the car back first, but I need to figure out how to program Lucifer's like integrated one. Dude, I need a truck you so did? bad. He forgot to take it inside. Oh, dude. Why are you putting me on blast like, yo. But yeah, let me head to Romina's real quick. We'll pick her up and, oh, check that out. What is that called, light? Are you here? We are out front with Chick-fil-A. Okay, sounds good, I'm coming. All right, bye. Hey, yo, girl, you that girl from OnlyFans. I like your shirt. Hey, thanks, Team P Squad. Get your merch now. <laughs> we don't have any merch. <laughs> All right, you got to squeeze in the back there somehow. Can I sit on your left? No, 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 absolutely not. Oh, because you got your little fries yeah, in there. Yeah, no, because you're a moose. Now get in the back. So, we're at Lowe's now. What do you need to get here? I have. I know I have to get like a hammer and some stuff, because I don't have one. That's really what you came to Lowe's for is a hammer? A hammer, a set of screwdrivers. I left all my other tools at my dad's. I so need some basic, basic tools for, um... Oh, my kill crunch. Just fixing Hello. up. Hey, we're wearing the squad merch. Ooh. Bang, bang. Ooh. American graphics. Ooh. All right. Lowe's, uh, here we come. I'm suck my thumb. I can't wear a mask. I'm sucking my thumb. I'm a baby. I think it's over I'll give her something for your garage. This is, the one, this is the one that's like, the one she says not to worry about. And this is you. <laughs> no? I've seen a bunch of these craftsmen. I just, I, I don't want red. I do not want a red toolbox. Ooh. There's a couple of ones. $700 hairs? Mm. What the fuck? What is that? Why is that so expensive? Y'all go have fun in your little wonderland. Okay. All right, I have a basic set of tools, but my actual plan was to get Derek a toolbox for his birthday slash Christmas slash welcome home gift. So we're gonna go find one that he'll like. So I've actually been looking at this one right here that they have on sale for Cyber Monday. It's a cobalt chest, um, similar to this one that we looked at before. Um, and obviously a little more affordable, a little smaller, since we don't have like a huge shop type of thing. I think the one that I found would probably be perfect. So I'm just gonna make sure that they have it available and fingers crossed because I don't see it over here. Ooh, plants. Okay, this might be cute for the apartment. Okay, next time, next time. I need a stand task. Yes, I was actually looking for a specific chest. I didn't know, or a toolbox. I didn't know if you guys had it in stock. It's the cobalt. Or I have an item number if that's easier. Earlier today I called and y'all had a few in stock, so I'm hoping. My boyfriend's Christmas slash birthday gift. Oh. So hopefully you guys have it in stock. I might have gotten lucky if this is the last one. This is perfect, this is exactly what I need. Yeah, I would love to have some assistance to just get it in the truck. Bingo, y'all, we found it. So literally how lucky is this? We got the last freaking box. I'm gonna have somebody help load it up onto the car now so they'll come out and see the box in the trunk. And I hope he loves it. This man is so spoiled. But I'm so lucky to have him, so he deserves it. I say, if you pull your vehicle up, you can get it in it. Uh, yes. Let me go grab, it's a surprise gift, so I'm gonna go grab the truck keys. Oh, hey, y'all. What's going on? What is this? Yo, check, it, check this out. Mini fridge. 
Wait. 120 bucks. This is gonna be bad ace. Okay, well, give me one second. I uh, forgot nope, something in the car. I forgot something in the car. Can I just get the keys real quick? Real the quick. Truck? Yes. It's in the truck. I was riding in the truck with you and I forgot something in there. Your I'll sketch. be right back. Your sketch. Thank you. I'm not gonna leave you. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not gonna leave you here. Wouldn't that be kind of funny though? I just need to pull it up for the guys to load it up in the back. I've driven a big truck like this maybe twice, so this will be fun. Let's get this bad boy loaded up and film a reaction. He's gonna find the surprise in the parking lot, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go inside, try not to look very sketchy. I'm already looking sketchy because I asked for the keys and I've been gone for 10 minutes, so I just need to grab something from my from the car. So we'll see. Look what we got here. Hey, we got some goodies. Oh yeah? Let's take a look real quick. Jordan, mini fridge, bang. Mm. We came in here not, not needing that, nor did we have a plan to buy that, but I bought a broom. Nice. Garage needs a broom. Okay. Garage needs a trash can, right? Okay. Check this out. You know that little grill we got? Ooh. Dude, we're gonna be whipping up subs. Are you gonna make me a bacon. Krabby Patty? Yes. And I got um a little thing for my desk. Okay. Very nice. And degreaser for the garage floor. Because Mark, you made a mess. I like what this mini fridge. How much did you, you pay for this? It was like 120 bucks. Really? Nice. Yeah. What'd you get them from the from the truck? What I just, um, I had to get something and then I had What's gotten a phone call. My mom called me, um, and she likes to truck? talk a lot. What is in the back and... of the <laughs> I'm a bad liar. <laughs> what did you buy? That's a big box. No way. No way. Dude, are you kidding me? Because it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, dude. Happy birthday to you. Carry this home. Uh, thank you. Carry it, oh, my is ass. That the one, it's 200 pounds. Is that the, like the one that's like the um the husky and the and the um the your con you con from it's, Harbor Freight I was looking at? Yes. Like the black one with the wood top. Yes, and they didn't have it anywhere. Wait, it wasn't in there. They, yeah, it was the last one. It was in the middle of the aisle. It was the last one, and you're damn lucky because I called oh. Harbor Freight. So he was looking at this one. What was the brand? It's Yukon. A, it's it's like Yukon. It's like the same as the Husky. So we were looking at that, and none of the Harbor Freights had it in <laughs> stock. So I was like really bummed. I was hoping to get it on sale, and then I saw this thing online. And it looked exactly like it. Thank so. You. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, yo, fam, 5,000 likes, I'll wipe her up. You better wipe me up before then. <laughs> no, for real. Thank you. You have to do you that. You love it? I'm do yeah, hell yeah. You love me? I I'm out here. Yeah, I love you, of course. I'm out here buying brooms. He's finessing tour boxes. Okay, but he did say to strap this up. So. Strap it up. Just be safe. No, and... I ain't going to strap it up. Well, okay. You ain't strapping up around me. Keep that with your other friends, not me. Dude, he actually bought me that. How much was it? I'm not gonna tell you, it's your birthday. All right, this might have to go in the truck. Dude. I was just looking at tools and stuff, but they didn't have like, the, like they have packaged wrenches. Like we need wrenches. Now we definitely need wrenches. I got nine drawers to fill. Nine drawers, it's matte black. Let's go. <laughs> I'm actually so stoked. Oh, it has a power strip on the side too. Hey. Not like I just didn't buy a 16 outlet power strip for 50 bucks, but. Ah. Uh. Hey, it's all good. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dude, I got a mini fridge, I got a toolbox, I got a broom, and a trash can. Woo! It's Christmas today, baby. I don't get any sass from you for like Dude, a week. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. I love you. Thank you, love you. Mm. Oh God, don't. Oh, You're sus, bad. though. Oh, yeah, we got some work to do tonight, Jordan. Do you have to set that up? No, it doesn't look like it. it looks well, like it's maybe all. Maybe put wheels on it if it doesn't have them on there already. Probably doesn't. It might. Oh, dude, the garage is going to make a huge transformation within one night. Put the desk up, lay the carpet down. I got my trash can going to be flexing hard on these haters. Ooh, it's going to be nice. All right, pulling up to the garage now. We've got some unloading to do. That mini fridge, I know Jordan's excited to get some drink in there. Go ahead and angle this a little bit. Ooh. Too high, huh? 
Let's move this stuff out of the way. Jordan is currently unwrapping my beautiful, luxurious carpet. Hey, voila. Straight up Aladdin. Hey, I did good. This is gonna be a perfect fit. And we're gonna go ahead and assemble this big old piece of junk. So you just saw we threw that satin black wrap over the glass and it really does give it a good look and we still are gonna make this into a workbench at some time. Just like that, put my trash can right there. And now onto the most exciting part, my toolbox that my lovely girlfriend just got me. Birthday, she's not gonna be too happy when she sees how much I spend to fill it up. Well, as I said, we got a nice toolbox, but we need some tools. Time to go spend some money. All right, so we're back at the house now, and my grand total at Harbor Freight, I wanna say I spent like 385 or 386, and I got quite a few things to start me off, and I will say by no way, shape, or form am I claiming these tools are the best. They're the ones you wanna get. Etc. Um, it's just kind of you know a basic little tool set. There's nothing crazy about anything I bought. It's just to get me going. Like I said, first things first, we got some drawer organizers. As you can see, we have the socket one here, and we have the wrench one there. I figured I'd give those a try since I got a new toolbox. Coming over to the trunk of the car, you can see we got some goodies. And you know, I'll go ahead and just run you guys through what I got. It's all simple stuff. You know, we got some nice gloves. We got a little precision screwdriver set. For some reason, I always find myself in need of these and I came across it and I was like, I'm buying it now before I regret it. Nice little utility knife there, razor blade, whatever you want to call it. We got our tapes, you never know. Got some duct tape. We got some masking tape and electrical tape. And I went ahead and got some JB Weld just to have um, thread lock red, blue, some super glue. Again, you'll never know. Good old little cheapo tape measure. Don't have one, needed one. I'm actually quite excited about this. It's a little magnetic tray, so whenever you start taking stuff apart, you just throw it in there and it's magnetic, as you can see. Got myself a good old little hammer. This thing does wonders. Followed up by a nice orange mallet does great. We got two 14 piece wrench kits. This is gonna be the standard, that's gonna be the metric. And you know, we got some locking pliers here with some adjustable wrenches. Um, we got some zip ties just because, you know, if we wanna be Honda status, zip tie technician, we got you covered. Set of metric and standard Allen keys. And we got some extension cords. And last but not least, we got a low profile two ton jack. As you saw in the beginning of this episode, Jordan and myself are really trying to transform this garage area. And just now looking at it, it looks fantastic. I don't wanna ruin it yet. So what I'm gonna do is get all this right here organized and then I'll pick you back up and give you the final little look. All right, so walking in guys, first thing you're gonna see here is this little area to our left. And we got a lot of work done in this area last night. Um, as you know, we wrapped the desk. This was glass, put a satin black wrap over it. Looks phenomenal. And um, you know, I had this leftover shelf, retightened everything down and worked perfect. Nice little black aerial rug. My old gaming chair that is still in great condition. I just, you know, upgraded my whole setup. So I figured might as well make this like the little workbench lounge area. And as you can see, we picked up this brand new mini fridge yesterday. Started my little sticker collection. We got Project Fox right there, Ridge Wallets. And um, who knows, maybe you guys can send me some really cool stickers and stuff like that. This is the trash can I picked up. It is perfect size. I love how it's black. Nice little wood top up there. It does have a lock. It's nine drawer. It's everything I need. Oh, and what do you guys think about the TV on top of the toolbox? I mean, you just gotta take a second and put those three things together. Brews, YouTube, Ottoman. I'll be out here all day. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you the rundown real quick. I'm gonna make this as fast as possible. As you can see, we got our nice little magnet tray there. It sticks very nice on the side of the toolbox. And in the first drawer, as I mentioned, I have to get my socket game up. This was in the little cobalt kit I had, and I just threw the whole tray in there. Ratchets as well, and I just put the gloves and some other little pieces to the toolbox for now. And if you go into the first drawer on the left, we got all our screwdrivers, our normal Phillips and flatheads, and our little torque drivers. You can go across from that, 
We're gonna have our wrenches, our standard and metric, very simple. Then this one's gonna have, you know, our pliers, our dikes, um, adjustable pliers, things like that. And this one's gonna have some spare wrenches with adjustable wrenches. And as you can see, I bought like a kit and I already had a kit, I, whatever. But moving on, in this drawer we have kind of our specialty items, you know, like Allen keys, that screwdriver set I got, little picks, um, spark plug gapper, little plug puller. My favorite, the bottle opener. It's pretty cool, it's cobalt too. Then in this drawer, we're gonna have our little essential supplies. You know, we have our zip ties there, we have our razor blade, we got the um, tape measure, all our liquids, so to speak, our thread lock, our super glue, um, JB weld, and then our tape, cause you just never know. And then down here, I kinda dedicated this to the, the random things. You can see our hammers, we got our little buffer pad, some extension cords, and this one is just kind of storage for at the moment. So as far as the toolbox though, that's kind of it. And you know, it's definitely coming along one piece at a time. And I almost forgot, we got our nice little two-ton jack, something super simple, nothing too crazy. Take a look at this guys, look at this. Oh my God, it's like walking my dog. You guys gotta let me soak this in. This is the first time I got to roll my own jack on my very own concrete floor and not gravel, so I am, I'm ecstatic. Considering this is only day two of the little garage project, um, I think it looks great. I love the color scheme, black, my favorite color. With me being a complete neat freak and OCD as hell, you can tell it's really, really tidy, and that's just how I like to keep things very simple, very tidy. With that, I am gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys are stoked on this. If you are, drop your boy a like, let me know in the comment section down below, and do your boy a favor, go follow me on Instagram, at Derek Barron Productions, and um, you know, we can just keep on trucking with this whole garage little series, and uh, yeah, you guys just keep tuning in, 8 p.m. Eastern time, for another video. But until next time, we'll see you later.